Hi friends, this is Krish the Urban Naxal. I want to give you a quick update, some good news uh, about our case, the Runwal case against us, police case. So we went to Sayan police station today. I was there, Rajendra Singh was there and four persons came from various walks of life to support us. So there was Matthias Romeo Jerry, a seaman, sailor, who is also a chef. Uh, there was Mr. Mulchandani, a senior citizen and a men's rights activist. There was uh, Mr. Suhas, a small scale industrialist, machinery manufacturer. And there was Bhavesh Patel, who was uh, who's, uh, uh, visually handicapped. He walks around with a cane, but he has a big heart. And it is amazing how he walks around without bumping into things. I was just astonished by the amount of dexterity and confidence that he has in going around with just a cane. It's really amazing. So these four persons were actually there and there were many people who had called me and expressed their concern and their willingness to come. Some of them are my old friends like GR Vora and GR Vora's, uh, there, there's a group called the Petition Group. So they had expressed willingness to send anyone for, uh, you know, offering bail. There are others, Advocate Piyush had offered his, um, you know, requested his father. There is a friend named Selva who had called. There are many people who had called and I want to thank all of them. It gives me great confidence, you know, when, when we are fighting that the public stands up and it is willing to go to some effort, you know. So to see a senior citizen and a blind person like Bhavesh Patel come to the police station, wait, in fact they reached ahead of me. Most of them, many of them had reached ahead of me. I was a bit late because my mom is in ICU so I had some delay in leaving from the hospital where I stayed overnight. Mom was admitted yesterday with, uh, uh, I mean, she has a lung condition, but it got really bad yesterday. Anyhow, so I need to go back to hospital now, but I want to tell you one really good piece of good news. Uh, the police inspector, our investigating officer, Mr. Shewale, he decided or he's, you know, there was this conversation between us, primarily Mr. Suhas, the, the small industrialist, sort of took a lead in um, asking him, questioning him, saying, how can you file a case like this? And where is the cheating? Where is the extortion? You know, he made out a very strong case while we were just, I was just, I was just there to post bail and leave. I was not arguing, but Suhas took this lead and it turned into a conversation where everyone was participating and uh, I don't know at what point the police changed their mind and started saying well our law officer is going to take another look he is going to take a re-look at whether the case will be filed now I am not overly optimistic they may still file the case I am also I mean slightly disappointed in the sense that the they, you know we were there to post bail so the bail bond work, if it had been done, then we would have furnished bail and that would have been that, you know, we would have been done with it. But for some reason they said, no, 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 we let's not do this. And we are putting it again before the law officer. And the law officer is going to advise Sion Police Station whether to go ahead with the case, that is file a charge sheet or to file what is called a C summary or one of those things where they say, no, the case is closed, there is no substance, etc, etc. Or these offences are not made out. So, Inspector Shivale, I think, heard us out much better than um, he had previously or his predecessor, Inspector Honvadajkar, the previous uh, investigating officer had heard. So... Uh, now this thing has again entered into a stage where they are re-looking and reviewing. I think that is good news. I, I hope the police takes the right decision. They understand that what we are doing is right, is not criminal, is 
for the good of people and for the good of the system and satyam eva jayate may the truth prevail we are if there is going to be a charge sheet against us i am completely open to that possibility and i am i would welcome the opportunity to convince bombay high court that this is a trumped up case or for that matter even a lower court that this is basically a trumped up case a case to prevent people from speaking out allowed on social media against what the builders are doing so jai maharashtra jai hind jai jawan jai kisan and i am very very grateful to all of you for your support god bless you all